Hi, I'm Chuck Benedict. I'm a mentor for Spartan Robotics here in lovely Corvallis, Oregon, Team 997. Thought I'd do a series of videos to help teams uh, get uh, their arms around image processing. If you're like us, maybe you've done some image processing, tried to do it in the past, and it just didn't work out. Maybe you ran out of time. Maybe you ran into some difficulty. We've done the same. I've decided this year it's not going to happen to us. Uh, and it's preseason, so it's really a perfect time to kind of get your arms around it. And in addition to that, there are some changes coming down the pike. I don't know if you've been on first sight this year, but for example, if you've used the Eclipse integrated development environment, well, you're in for a surprise because guess what? Visual Studio Code is now what FIRST is supporting. So if you don't know Visual Studio Code, now's the time to start learning. The project that I've put together uses Visual Studio Code, so that'll give you a head start. Second thing, second challenge you might have run into is that vision processing uh, only works if you're going to do it off board. Uh, it only works if you plug your uh, camera into a the Robo Rio or into your Raspberry Pi. But if you plug it in your USB camera into Windows, it does not work. Makes it pretty difficult to code and test a project if you're on a Windows workstation, but you have to go plug it into a Robo Rio to test it out. You know, most programmers don't have access to the Robo Rio unless you've got a couple of them laying around and you've got it stuck on a, on a board because it's going to be assembled on the robot and mechanical typically is the ones that have the robot all the time. So then you get the robot at the last minute and you got to do your testing. And that's when image processing usually gets scrapped. So what I've done to make it easier is uh, I've created a project that allows you to plug your USB camera into a Windows workstation and develop and test your project all on the same workstation at the same time. So to get started with these videos, what I would do is first go onto the screen step site for first and uh, go in, follow the instructions for this page to get your environment set up. I'll be putting on this video links to the places that you can go to sort of get started. Go there first, get set up, grab coffee or a Coke, come back to some subsequent videos that I'm going to publish, and we'll get started. 